Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers. This one is the Unreal Engine Asset Bonanza. It is a bonanza of assets for creating open world type environments. If you're not using Unreal Engine, don't worry about that. I'm also going to show you how you can use these assets in other game engines. First, a quick look at the bundle itself. As with all bundles, it is organized into tiers. You buy a higher dollar tier, you get all the stuff below it. This one has got a ton of stuff around making open worlds, but we've got things from environment packs, uh, to props, to trees, uh, to, uh, we've got some tanks and character models, zombies, etc. in here. So if you want to make a survival horror or survival game, uh, you've got a ton of stuff in here. A few of these things, like the medical tent, were in previous bundles, uh, as were a couple of these things. I think this village house pack, for example. But a lot of this stuff is also new. You're also going to find that assets like this or the ambulance, they're fully rigged. So if you're using them in Unreal Engine, you get things like flashing light bars and drivable actual assets, the ability to decay them over time. It's pretty impressive what some of this stuff can do. We also got some mocap animation things in here as well and we've got a few soundtracks to finish things off so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a couple of these assets in action um in terms of tiers this one is broken down into these three tiers so at a dollar tier you're getting the music packs some weapons uh some mocap animation it's pretty amazing what you're actually getting at the one dollar tier the median value tier never makes any sense at all but you're getting a ton more stuff in it you're going to go from there uh, you're going to spend the extra five bucks, so the $30 USD, and get the everything at the top tier. But this $1 tier, you're getting an amazing amount of content. Uh, but here, even at 30 bucks, you're getting 50 different asset packs. Almost all of them are a very, very high quality. So what I'm going to do is start things off with this diner as an example. And I'm going to show you how to get that guy out into other environments and work with it there. But first, a hands-on with the diner. So this is the diner running in Unreal Engine. Uh, you're going to find that it looks... Sharp. It, it is a, uh, you know, Twin Peaksy kind of diner environment. Uh, we got a number of things in the world. So you've got, you know, maple syrup containers. It's been a while ago, so we've got ashtrays going on here as well. Uh, and then if you want to get this out into other environments, by the way, look at the texture resolution over here. You can see over there. What you do is simply go load the file up, go to file, export all, like so. Uh, and then over here you pick uh, I pick GLB because then you'll get the actual textures. FBX will not bring textures across. Pick a location for it and save it. Uh, and then it will pop up this little dialogue. Now, what you're probably going to want to do is jack the render, the baking of the textures up a little bit higher. I kept them pretty low, and we're going to get some artifacting as a result. So you're going to see this is definitely going to need some cleanup when we get it into Godot. Um, but otherwise, it, here is the original environment. Again, here is an example of one of the textures before we export it out. Uh, here it is temporarily. Let me just get this guy back out full screen. Here it is running uh, in Blender in the median. Okay, here we go. So I think it's Shift Escape. All right. So again, you notice textures comes across pretty nice. Now the big thing you're going to notice is your lighting disappeared. Uh, you're going to have to recreate the lighting, uh, which I have started to do. So here we are in Godot uh, and the asset brought in. So here you can see again, an example of the texture, how they come across. But there you see the reflections are not perfect. The reflections in the door over here works pretty well, but this is a material you're going to have to do a little bit of cleanup on. The other thing you're going to notice is your lighting didn't come across. So this guy, I set up lights over here. I haven't yet over here, but if you want to go ahead, I've imported this as a level. So right here. And if you want to bring in lighting, it's really super simple. Like to set this up, basically just select the thing in the world that you wish to grab. So like so. And then you're going to see here it is. And then we've got a point light in it, but the point light didn't get created. So all I'm going to do is basically come in here and create a point light. Oops. Oh, don't do that. I'm going to create an Omni light, not a point light. The point light 2D is definitely not what I want. So let's pick this guy here. Again, point light over here. Create a new child node of that thing. And it is an Omni light 3D. And you create it. And then boom, now you have new lighting. We'll switch that back over and save that particular scene out. We'll go back out to our scene that's using it. And now you'll notice we have lighting over here. So you're gonna have to set the lighting back up, but otherwise, look, everything else that was brought across looks flawless. You're gonna work on this uh, reflective texture. Again, if I brought it in at a higher resolution, I think it would have worked fine. So if I bake this at, um, you know, 4K instead of 1K, the mirrors would probably work better. But you can also manually tweak those and get something looking much better. But as you see, the assets bring across, they are perfectly usable. And once you get the lighting set up, it looks pretty darn good. Now, obviously, we go back to the Unreal Engine. They've got uh, environmental fog, volumetric lighting and such going on. But there's no reason why you can't configure that stuff yourself. So everything other than the lighting comes across to other engines pretty damned well. And then the lighting, you've got to set up yourself. So if you're using another engine, no worries at all with this bundle. All right, so let's move on to the next asset.
So what we're going to look at next is the high school basketball gym setting. This has a day, night, and midnight lighting settings as well. I'll also look at the post-apocalyptic manner in just a second. So here we are. This is the uh, gym environment. So you get an idea of the quality of these assets. Uh, again, they're very good. This, these guys have uh, very consistent, high-quality works. Uh, so it's everything you see here to create this environment. So all of this stuff... Uh, is modular in nature so for example we have a pop machine over here let's go back over to the center of the environment let's go open up the overview map like so and you get an idea of what this guy's made out of so even if you're not creating a gym but you need uh some aspects here so you need some uh bleachers you need some external walls for a building uh some scaffolding we got lockers here again there is that pop machine and so on so these are all very modular in nature. So if you just need to pick individual aspects out of these things, you can grab them. By the way, I'll also show you how to bring out just a single thing. So example, if you need a scissor lift, there's a scissor lift included in here as well. And you're gonna notice, again, the texturing, the, they're very high quality um, in, uh, in the texturing and in the work around them. So uh, that is that one. Let's go look at the manor next. So here we are, I believe it's the Elbert post-apocalyptic manor. Uh, you got some shrubs and such going on in the world. Let me just turn immersive mode on. So let's go take a look at what we got here. So we got uh, there's some birds sitting on top of it. There's some shrubs around it. This is a, a very terrifying house, by the way. So if you're creating a post-apocalyptic style game, all of their demo levels are always set up really nice god rays and lighting and such. So you'll notice that there's been some redecorating going on with this place. So it has definitely got that post-apocalyptic vibe. I don't know what it is about the post-apocalyptic world where we're apparently going to start mounting skulls to everything, but that does seem to be a common trend. We even got this little guy over here uh, with a gun looking very not ominous at all. So that is the uh, manor environment. Once again, there are a variety of these. So you have a, a nighttime demonstration. Almost all of their stuff has a day and nighttime demonstration version of it available. So let's go check out what the nighttime version looks like. So here we see same thing, just set up with nighttime lighting. You get an idea of what it is capable of. So that is the post-apocalyptic manner. Uh, still building a couple of shaders, so we'll, we'll give it a second while that kicks in. But you get an idea of what you're dealing with here. And again, this is modular in nature, so if you wanted an individual aspect out of it, you need one of these things from the ground or whatever, or uh, you need some cages or some uh, skulls to adorn your... Adorn your uh, your house with uh, they're all available uh, that way as well so finally I'm going to show you how to bring an individual asset over uh, one last demonstration we're going to bring in the M1 A1 submachine gun the Tommy gun over here uh, this is actually part of the one dollar tier so if you just want an individual asset uh, this shows you how to actually bring those in so let's just load that model up all right so here we go a variety of Tommy guns there are animations attached to them by the way so there's uh, dry fire reload etc they've got this the blueprints to control that but you can see here, basically a very, very, very high resolution timing gun. So let's go take a look at how high resolution we're talking about. So you come in here, you can actually see there's ammo inside of it. You've got the uh, the uh, service marks over here, the caliber and so on. And then you'll notice even if you look down the barrel, the barrels are actually rifled, which is a... Uh, Kind of an impressive touch. So let's say you want to bring out just a gun, like this guy over here. How do you bring out just a single asset? Well, that is super easy. What we do is we come in here, we find the mesh like so. So I'll grab this merged one right here. You go right click on it. You go to asset actions and you go to export. So if you just need to bring a single model out for somewhere else, you can do so. Again, pick your format. I do find GLB works the best. And we'll bring this one out as Tommy, like so. Uh, pick a location for it. So for me, that's either temp or downloads because that is where things go. Uh, you do have the option over here. So let's bake out uh, 2K textures on this one and we'll export that guy out. So the process of exporting out of Unreal Engine is exceptionally easy. So if you're looking at this and you're interested in static meshes, the stuff's going to come out perfectly. Uh, soundtracks will work just fine as well in other engines. Uh, you're going to find, obviously, you're not getting the full experience. You're not getting the, the blueprints that you have on a lot of these things, but uh, still pretty impressive. So now let's come in here uh open up a new scene we're not going to save that and sacrifice a default cube we go up to file we import we pick eh, file import we go on down to the glb file section over here we go into the downloads folder we find tommy like so and we import it and there is our tommy gun let's switch on over to rendered view and let's go take a look so this is an asset exported out in just a few seconds. And as you're going to see, 
it has all of the markings, all of the stuff made it across. Uh, so if we go over to the other side here, you're going to see uh, the fire selector is there. And we go down the end, we still have a rifled barrel and so on. Unfortunately, default lighting uh, in Blender can be a little bit light. So like, yeah, here, let me, here, let's look that way. So here you're gonna see, again, all the details made it across. Over here, we should actually have all of the, so there it is, fire selector, safe, and so on. Uh, and again, rifling down the barrel. So you get picture-perfect exports, no problem at all, very easy to do. Heck of a bundle, regardless of which game engine you're working with. Uh, so again, this one is organized into tiers. You buy a higher value tier, you get all the tiers below it. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose to do, and thank you so much for you to help support Game From Scratch. Uh, I Obviously, I can't get into all of this stuff here, so I, I showcase the top most elements that are here uh, and a couple other ones here, but you can see you're going to get a ton of environments here, and then you're getting some more uh, things like uh, procedural uh, environments here. You get cars that are run down. This was in a previous pack, by the way. Uh, this one is a massive, massive bundle for like a post-apocalyptic um, hospital. We got some signs from post-apocalyptic, and then we got things like a gas station from a modern day era. So you can work with a number of different environments using this bundle. It is one of the biggest bundles I've seen, and all of their stuff seems to be very high quality. Uh, so yeah, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. It is called the Unreal Engine Asset Bonanza. Again, Unreal Engine is going to work best, and then you're going to find shockingly a lot of these things in Unreal Engine have a ton of capabilities, like blueprints for controlling door opening and horns blaring and sirens, etc. But they work very well in other engines as well. So let me know what you think of this bundle. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.